Before the video starts, a quick announcement. I'm starting with a giveaway series. Every video I will release from now on will have a giveaway in it. I will give away one skin per video. The value is determined by the views my last video had. So my last videos had about 150 views and I will give away one cent per view it gets. So in this video, I'm giving away an orb Ethereum in filters condition. Just leave your trade link in the comments below to enter. But be careful of scammers, I won't add you. If you win the skin, I will just send you the offer directly. That's the only way I will contact you. Please be careful there and let's get on with the video. Just imagine this. It is late in the afternoon. You came home from work, make yourself some dinner and sit in front of your PC quite tired. And you start watching some YouTube videos while you eat. Suddenly the doorbell rings and you ask yourself who that could be. Your neighbors complaining because you have been too loud with your imaginary girlfriend again? A package you ordered and forgot about? Or a friend of you bringing back the thing you lent him months ago? Anyway, you get up and open the door. And one minute later, you find yourself sitting on the floor with a bag over your head, duct tape on your feet, hands and in your mouth, and some guy presses an AK-47 against your head. What had just happened? Today we tell the story of Boom and how he ended up in this situation and why his digital weapon skins are probably the reason why this happened in the first place. Before we start with the video, feel free to like and subscribe. I upload one video every week and if you subscribed and ring the bell, it is the best way to get notified. Thanks! Boom was an average Russian CSGO player who just started his studies in one of the major Russian cities. After the release of CSGO skins, he really became fascinated in them and started being an active CSGO trader. The years went by and Boom's inventory started growing a lot. He now owned a Dragon Lore, an M4 Howl and a Sapphire and a Ruby combination he really liked. Boom was pretty open about everything. It was not hard to find personal information about himself as he linked his VK account and his other social media accounts directly on his Steam profile. Many people do this and normally this isn't a problem. But the nice and innocent open style of himself ended up being his weak point for a group of bad guys. Somewhere in December, Boom came home from work. At this time his CSGO inventory had reached a total value of over 80,000 US dollars. For that time, it was some years ago, this was a really big inventory and one of the biggest in the world probably. He had made himself some lunch and sat in front of his own computer on this evening. Suddenly, at around 8 o'clock, his doorbell rang and he was running a little bit because he didn't expect somebody to come, but he didn't thought of anything bad and just opened the door. Suddenly, five men rushed into his apartment and threw him onto the ground. One guy strapped a bag over his head and tied up his hands and feet with duct tape. He also put some duct tape around his head and into his mouth so he couldn't scream for help. Three of these men were armed. Two of them had some sort of AK weapon with them and one with a pistol. Boom was terrified to death and had zero clue what was going on. After around 20 minutes, the man left his flat and left Boom just on the ground. He was terrified, confused and 80,000 US dollars in CSGO skin slider, which he didn't knew at that time. Boom managed to get attention of a neighbor and he helped him out of the duct tape. They called the police and many investigations started. On the next day, Boom was still not sure why the man did this and what had happened because nothing in his flat was touched. Not his watch, not his phone and his TV, computer, everything valuable was still there. So he started his computer in the afternoon and went to his CSGO inventory. And all of his 80,000 US dollars in CSGO skins were gone and traded to some random private Steam profile. So the thieves seemed to only care for his virtual items. Boom was very sad, confused and happy at the same time because he thought surely with the authorities involved he would manage that Steam would ret return everything. So he collected all the information together with the police report, investigations, everything he could get and sent a long email to the Steam support. 
He waited for some days, typical for the Steam support, and finally got an answer. The answer was, just guess. Steam won't return items that got scammed. Our community assigns an item a value that is at least partially determined by the item's security. If more copies of the items are added to the economy through inventory rollbacks, the value of every instance of that item would be reduced. We sympathize with people who fall victim to scams, but we provide enough information on our website and within our trading system to help users make good trading decisions. For more information on this, please see this post on our store blog. So yes, he was raided by armed people, had solid proof of that in the form of police reports and even CCTV footage, but still Steam wasn't able to return any of his items the thieves got. Boom didn't want to believe his eyes and he made a big Reddit post about this and it blew up a lot. Some people even sent him donations at least to help him a bit. But other than that, nothing was done to help them. Not Steam, not police, nothing could be done about it. The police couldn't find these guys. And thieves that hunt for virtual items were really something new. After that, Boom changed a lot of stuff in his privacy and even moved to another place to feel safe. And he started trading again. He wanted his stuff back and started with a small investment and the donations he received from Reddit. I've seen him with a 14,000 US dollar inventory to again, so it seems that at least at some point it was going right for him. But it seems that he quit after that or changed his profile entirely. Because I couldn't find his profile or the Reddit post again. I think this story shows that you can never be sure of how people treat others that own something they really want. And also keeping your personal data protected and safe, especially on the internet, is a really important point. Especially when you're doing things like CSGO trading, crypto or anything else. Yeah, I think that wraps up the story really good. If you know of the story and have some links to his profile or the Reddit post, please link them in the comments below. It really helped me and the other ones out. I am Neon and I'll see you guys in the next one.